Hello and welcome to scripting tutorial number 11. In this tutorial we're going to be learning about logical operators. Now firstly it's just an operator. Let's, let's look at operators. Anything like plus, minus, times, uh, multiply, divide, um, greater than, less than, things like that are operators. Okay? What about logical operators? So uh, let's make a few lines in the code. Um, making a few lines in the code doesn't it won't do anything. The script will just skip them. You don't need to worry about making lines in the code. They do nothing. Okay, so now we've got a few lines, let's start scripting. Um, we use them in if statements. So let's create an if statement first. Uh, let's create a variable equals 5. I'll explain it after. If my variable equals 1, then, whoops, I forgot the double equals. Okay. Then end right. Let's print high inside here. Right then. So if my variable equals one, then print high. Okay. So my variable equals five. So it's not going to print high, but I want to print high. Even though my variable is equal to five and not one, like it says here, I still want to print high. So I could do this. I could do else if my variable equals five, then print high but that's just wasted lines of code I mean we've just wasted a couple of lines of code here by doing that we all want in, in scripting you want to try and code so you use the minimum amount of lines possible so scripting using the minimum amount of lines possible is the best way of scripting so we don't want to waste these two lines here because we can we can do this uh, we can basically do this but in one line so let's take the else if out okay so now we've got if my variable equals one then print high end and then nothing right let's use the word and okay it should light up in blue we've said if my variable equals one and well firstly you might be thinking I could put five here so if my variable equals one and five well no that's not to do the right. that's not how you do it this is how the script will read it if my variable equals one and five what, what, what am I going to do with the number five you just you're just giving the script the number five it doesn't know what to do with it so let's write this more logically if my variable equals one and my variable equals five then print high. Okay, now the script understands it. If my variable equals 1 and my variable equals 5, there's no need to put another if here, you've got if at the beginning, but we are making two comparisons on the same line. Um, right, I shouldn't have used the word and, I should have used or because and makes no sense here. So let's use or. Let me show you what or is. Now, or in scripting, it means the same thing as it does when you're just talking normal English. You compare one thing, or if that's not right, then compare something else. So if it's not 1 or 5, then we're going to skip it. But if it is 1 or 5, then we're going to go here. Now, my, my variable is equal to 5. Because it is, it's either 1 or 5, we're going to print high. So if I go ahead and print, it should print high. There we go because my variable is equal to 1 or 5. Now if I put AND here then this wouldn't really make sense because my variable can't be 1 and 5 at the same time. It can only be one number at the same at, at once. So if I click play it should do nothing. So let's go back to the if statement. And you, you don't want to put AND here f to compare the same variable twice. But what if I had a second variable? So let's say I had a second variable called my variable 2. And let's call this, uh, let's set the value to 10. Okay, so let's compare both variables now. We've got if my variable equals 1 and my variable 2 equals 5, then print high. Okay, so let's set the value of my variable to 1, but we'll leave the value of my variable 2 to 10. Okay, so what the script wants is it wants my variable to be equal to 1 and it wants my variable to be equal to 2 if they're both correct if if that if this equals 1 and if this equals 5 then we're going to print high but if only one of them is true 
as so this one's true here my variable does equal to 1 so yeah that's right my variable 2 equals to 5 but no it's equal to 10 so they're not both true this one's false and this one's true so it's not going to print because it wants because we've put the word and here which means they've both got to be true but if I put or here then what we can do is we can have if my variable equals 1 or if my variable 2 equals 5 so this means only one of them has to be true to run the if statement okay so my variable does equal to 1 so this is true so even if this one wasn't true it would still run the if statement because at least one of them is true what if they're both true it will still run it because it's an or this is the logical operator or which means that at least one of them has to be true if not one then two both of them can be true okay so that is how all logical operators work or means at least one of them has to be true and and means that both of them have to be true they both need to be true in order to run this if statement here okay so that is how they work there's also another one and it's called not as you see if you type not in it should light up in blue or it should go blue so let's let me show you how to use not right let's take this away it's mostly used for boolean so let's create a boolean my boolean equals false whoopsie my boolean equals false now boolean again true or false value this one is false so let's go ahead and make an if statement if oops what's wrong with my mouse okay if my boolean equals false then end let's print okay it's false okay if my boolean equals false then print okay it's false this is a very simple if statement we know how to use this it's just going to compare this if it's false okay it's going to print this but there's also another way of doing it using the logical operator not now let's take away the if false bit bit yeah so we've taken away the if false bit now let's stick the word not in front of my boolean this is another way of writing if statements you don't have to do it like this but it's optional you mean you can do it like this if you want it depends how you feel comfortable doing if statements but if you want to do do it this way you can so if not my boolean then print false this is the same thing as writing if my boolean equals false and also another way of writing if my boolean equals true is to take the not away and just to leave my boolean just by itself in there now this may be a bit confusing but it's just an additional way of writing if statements you don't have to do it if you don't want to but you can it's, it's just saves, saves time in writing if statements and it looks better but that is how you test for true and false really so if this was true um, then it would run it would say okay if my boolean then it just if you just stick the word my boolean in there then it, it will automatically say it's just like doing this it's just like saying if my boolean equals true except you just leave the equals true bit off and you're just sticking the word my boolean in there so that's what it, that's what the script's going to do it's going to say if my boolean equals true then print this and if we stick the word not in there it's going to say if not my boolean then which is basically the same thing as writing if my boolean equals false so let me show it to you if let's set the value to false if not my boolean then okay let's go and it's printed okay it's false but what if I take away the not this is testing to see if my boolean equals true which is not so if we click play it prints nothing and now just one more let's set the value of my boolean to true and click play yep it's printed okay so that's just another way of writing if statements if you want to test for true and false just stick it in there no, you don't need to put anything else in there for true just stick the my boolean in there and this will be testing to see if the condition is true well, yeah this will be testing to see if my boolean is true 
and if you just stick the word not there it will be testing to see if my boolean equals false now another way to use not is like this um, let me just get let me delete the base plate let me insert oops not toolbox insert basic objects part okay let me just insert a part uh, let me stick the script inside the part right uh, let me anchor this brick so that it doesn't fall out of the sky so if I click play it's not going to fall out of the sky it's anchored right another way of using the word not is to change these little tech tick boxes here so say you didn't know what the value of um, at the anchored box was say we didn't know if the anchored was true or false so what we can do is we can get the part by using script.parent if you remember from the first tutorial I taught you script.parent um, so let's get the part by using script.parent and let's change the transparency property I mean no not the transparency anchored anchored so we've got the anchored property of the part now let's change it to not script.parent.anchored okay now this is going to change the anchored um, the anchored property to if if the anchored is true then it's going to change it to false if the anchored is false it's going to change it to true so let's go ahead and play the script it should make it non-anchored as you can see it's just fallen down to the ground okay so but if the brick was unanchored let me click play you should see that it becomes anchored because we've used not to change the little tick box here to whatever it's not so there, those are two ways of using the not word in if statements you can use it to compare a boolean to the value false and when you're changing properties if you have a little checkbox here you can take change the value of this little tick box to whatever it's not so if the tick box is true then we're going to change the tick box to false if it's false we'll change it to true just by using not in front of the um, the property so you've got the property here it's you're setting it equal to the not version of the property so whatever it is not if that makes sense which it should so again just play around with it see what you can do use it in if statements so say if a variable is this then change a anchored property to not the anchored property so yeah just do all of that sort of stuff um, keep experimenting with it and I'll do one more tutorial on if statements I know I said in the previous tutorial that this would be the last tutorial about if statements but there is actually another one which I forgot so yeah there's gonna be another tutorial on if statements just one more I think so I'll see you then